down towards the centre wing area. It's grabbed out there by Montgomery. Over it goes to the big bloke in Rhett Baines. Back to Montgomery. Mon Punched away by Montgomery. Bamlett goes in with the ball. Now it's Dool. Ever reliable Dool. Over to Baines. Baines a hand pass. Further afield. A further hand pass comes to Buckley. Jimmy Buckley. He's playing well. He goes four minutes now. Alvin drives upfield, a chance down for the ball taken by Baines. He hooks with the left foot toward Meldrum. Meldrum can't take it, runs toward the boundary line. It's out of bounds now, and the umpires missed that one again. He nearly did. Well, he did miss well, it. Here's Peter Foster from half-back flank. He's playing well. All the Footscray defenders are playing well. Baines, he's impressed me, Jack, since he's come on the ground. Uh, being ordered back on the mark is Brian Royal by the uh, umpire Peter Howe. Up towards half forward. No, and it's taken by Bahaja. Bahaja puts it up high to Beasley. Now it's Baines in the way. Oh. He takes the mark from Carlton. I think he's a very promising player. He's really impressed me today, Baines. He's uh, reading of the With centre the kick, wing. Though. Kicks it high. Waiting. Oh, Baines has set himself. He's got his name written on this. Oh, gee, he's an impre he impresses me, Jack. I reckon he's playing a great game, Baines, and takes that mark at centre half back. He's going for a hand pass. It wasn't a good one, but his own all day. Runs away. Ducks around towards half forward court with the ball bad play by Stephen Wallace this player has been very impressive for Carlton Rhett Baines gets it to Hartney Hartney is on half back flank as he kicks it towards half forward Peter Foster goes up can't quite go from there Pete no as he uh, drops it short out comes Baines and Baines takes a mark and uh, kicking long when Carlton came back and led Footscray by six points I thought they might be gone I said character if any would bring them back and have now down there is Harms kicking the ball for Carlton from the back pocket position. Up to about the centre wing and a mark by McClure. The hand pass comes out. Oh, that tackle's a bit high on Montgomery. But on Bruce Reed against his old side on the left foot. Here's a chance for Reese Jones and his teammate Rick Baines. And Baines early in the game was a very, very impressive player, but has faded right out of the game since then. Since this is there. Yes, no, can't hold it. Could have tried two hands, a chance now for Baines. Baines goes in, gets the ball away. He knocks it on to Ward Hunter. Hunter's on the kicking foot, throws it into his back. A free kick to Hunter. Uh, two, That's a siren uh, too. That was a siren to end the quarter, but Hunter will take the shot after the quarter time. Three, Jack? Yes, it was. I called it that one. Oh, Hunter's free kick, no oh, worries. The two blokes hip and shoulder hitting each other. No, Hunter's free kick. So, Carlton have a chance to score after the siren, which they did last week, too, against Footscray in the quarter-time siren. Jimmy Buckley kicked the goal to level the scores. But if Hunter kicks his goal, it'll make Carlton 26 points. At present, they're two goals eight. He's going to kick it on the right, is he? No. Good shot. Good goal. Kick. Taken by Reed. Reed gets it moving up toward Big Baines. Baines picks up nicely. Hand passes to Reed. That was a bullet-like pass. It went very quickly. Then Baines does his... Well, there could be a big score coming up for Carlton. I know it's going to be a big win, but how big will the score be? They've been picked up by Baines. Baines kicking out of Ward Crow, hobbling after all, just moving, and that's all. Kenny Hunter on the scene for Carlton, giving it over to Johnston. Johnston kicks up high, hopeful for McClure. Harms does the roving. The ball hits the turf. Taken by Fraser Murphy. It's a goal! Good goal kicked by Fraser Murphy. Controlled the kick very well. Carlton, 18-17, 120 of the ball. Up toward Baines, takes the mark too. Baines hand passes a black wall. Black Carlton 12 points, North Melbourne 26 on seven's big league. It's Carlton go forward toward Baines, and Baines take the mark in the goal square. Only, well, just outside the goal square, about 15 metres out from goal. The per perfect example, that Jack, of if you play in front when the ball is kicked into the wind, you will get the ball. And Bayern sensibly played in front, the ball dropped short, and he took an easy mark right in front as Rick Bayern fires at the goals. He kicks it very high up onto the grandstand, and it's through for a goal to the Blues. Yes, Carlton, three straight goals for 18 points. North come forward, out towards Jonas at Travels on the half-forward flank. Jonas played on. That was bad football, and he was caught by Harms. Harms puts the ball in front of him, and Carlton run right away with the ball and drive it down to Baines, and Baines takes the mark on the half-forward zone. Gave it to Jonas. Glasses. Crackers kick to the wing position out of side, but it's all Carlton there. Baines unopposed. Just took the mark, uh, played on height. quickly to Alvin. Black height, North Melbourne, as we see Alvin Kilder as he kicks towards half forward. Baines sets himself. Oh, that's a mark, a one-handed mark for Big Red Baines against Glenn Didding.
and he will go back and look for McClure. McClure is playing at full forward by the looks of it in this quarter. Attended by Peter Smith, he's calling for the ball long enough. That's unusual. He's fat on his hands to make them wet, but to get a better grip of the football, I think. But I don't think he'll make the distance from there. He should have got it moving quickly. As I said, he lands it up towards McClure. Hunter over the back is McClure. Take it away, though. It's a high, wide, and handsome kick. It's on the turf. It's anyone's ball. Reese Jones got there. A chance now for Smith. He got bundled out of the way. Another chance now for Cal through Meldrum. Meldrum goes goalward. A good goal. Johnson and Dwyer. Johnston looking up there for Baines. Glendinning in front. Great mark for Baines. Over to Glasscott. Glasscott into the open goal. He stabs at the ball and he's put it through for another goal to the blue. Trying to do the knockout there. Picked up by Alvin. He kicks it up towards Baines. Baines showing promise today. Hand passes to Meldrum. Meldrum now going goal and looking for his fourth goal. Down. Didn't come out. Robertson. Ashman. The dominator. To half forward. And the mark. Oh! Brett Baines has taken it. There'll definitely be a 15 metre. Why they don't think about playing football, Robert, and forgetting about it? I mean, what is the problem? Well, that one was just sheer foolishness because it wasn't even as though he, he made it hard for the player because uh, he hardly touched Baines anyway. Mm. And so why give away a 15 metre penalty? Plus a goal. Two on the board to the Blues. Crowd giving the answer, holding the ball, the decision. Hartney from centre wing. To go up towards the half forward line, and again the mark taken by Red Baines. Buckley. Alvin receives the handball, puts it out towards Meldrum. Baines is there, traps it nicely. Well done for a big man as he puts it back in towards the middle and Buckley. Covered. Baines tries to tap it further forward. Johnson, umpire's found a free kick going Carlton's way. For what I know not, it's been paid by umpire Peter Cameron. He didn't give any indication as to what it was for, but Baines has the free kick. And well within kicking distance, he's only about uh, 40 metres from goal. Well, this fellow peeped uh, to our interstate viewers as a spitting image of the uh, great John Nichols. Well, if he's half as good as John Nichols, he'll be a brilliant player. A point. Just around the cricket pitch area, which itself is dry. Montgomery again. Carlton half-back flanker. Goes for a pass down towards full forward. Great grab to Baines. Has he paid it? No. Meldrum in trouble. Caught. Baines again, tackled by Conley. McClure, 10 metres out, goals. The Carlton coming back at Melbourne now. That's his first goal in the time on period. The scoreboard, seven big league, 6-5 to 3-5. That was a great recovery by uh, Baines. A lot of the fellas would have been back at camps towards full forward. Coming out to meet it now is Baines. Oh, he put not uh, Payne rotten as he picks the ball up. It was strong play. Gone for a pass. It's a beauty and Blackwell's got Maybe he'll try and find Melbourne. He's hooked it high, Baines getting into position, and Marks! Had his name on that one, Big Baines, and he's only about 20 metres out of goal, and directly in front. So a chance to bring Carlton a little bit closer, and they certainly need a goal at the moment. Shot of goal looks pretty good from here. And Baines puts through his first for Carlton. And the scoreboard now on 7th Big League. It's Melbourne, 8 7 55, Carlton, 5 7 37. And we're just over the 14 minute mark of this. Boys, I guess, uh, start in the side. But David Parkin seems to prefer him to come on as an interchange player. He always does well when he does. Blackwell off the ground. McClure, here's danger. McClure goes for the hand pass. Blackwell, goal. Great play, Carlton. Two. Road out there on the centre wing position, goes for the long kick. Melbourne in front by 27 points, a great mark to Bain. Yes, yeah, superb job. And the Blues badly needing a goal before the siren goes to end the third quarter. 29 and a half, just on 30 minutes gone. Bain's in position there, strong hands, too strong for Giles and takes the mark. It's a fair distance out, about 40 metres out from goal. There she is, it's a high kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either, it'll come around enough for a goal, it is. So it's 21 points to differ that Baines' second goal. 15 13, 103 Melbourne, the Carlton 12, 10 82. Certainly deserved a goal that mark. And a, and a, Let's what's take a look at it. There she is, a high kick, and uh, he had to get in a position. He even had to beat his own man to take that mark. But he's got it. So we're back in the centre again, just over the 30 minute mark of this third. At the moment, Falls goes to Hurd for the Bombers, down towards centre wing, only to see uh, Rhett Baines in the second take. Them. Carlton, boasting first team, Windy Hill. 
Baines. Harms. First touch. It's coming. Gig. Free kicks falling Carlton's way at this stage of the match. So Baines has got the kick at centre field. Goes for a long one over centre half forward. McClure at the back. He's great. 28 to Carlton. Three goals, 119. Nine points the difference. Silvani towards the pocket. Mitchell in front over the top. Big Nicely picked up by Russell. Russell goes for the long kick over the half forward line. Going up high was half. And that's a typical harms mark. Goes for a short pass. It's okay. Grabbed here by Baines at centre field. A long quarter. Short pass. A fumble by Dean. Taps the ball on at the Baines. Baines gets around Big Ironmonger. Shoots the ball back out there towards the wing position. Reese Jones at the back's taking a great grab. Over to well, certainly bucking up the blue spirits. Now here's a chance for another one for Big Baines if he can get there first. He does. He's well shepherded by Hunter. He's gone for a pass. It's a ripper. Mark Mazzani 20 oh. metres out. Played on, did he? Just about till he went over the mark then, Peter. What do you call the rush of blood? I don't <laughs> think so. Oh, golly, what's this, Bob? Good play by Baines. He really steady and a well-placed kick. I reckon he thought about it. <laughs> oh, golly, I think he did. Anyway, he should be able to kick it from there, and that will bring Carlton right back into the match now. Goal on pass says it's a goal, so two goals to the Carlton side in the space of a minute brings them right back into this game. Now, as Harms brings the ball back into play, it's wide and just caught inside the line by Baines. And so it will be a boundary throw in. Lift half forward flank now for the. Can he make it five goals? He's gone for a lead down to 4 4. Beautifully done, Baines. The mark 15 metres out. Good mark and a good pass by Hatter. Put it right down his throat that time. There's the uh, kick, Bob. Yes, and Baines showing a good turn of speed there. It looked as though uh, Carter had that one well covered. And Baines normally a good kick, so it could well be a five point lead to come. There's the kick on its way. What's he done? I think it's hit the post. It has, so uh, it's a point the difference. Just on the two-minute mark of the final term, another ball up, knocked away by Baines this time. He gets it to Ashman and he clears for the blue. Boots it long, but it's a bad kick. And marked by Baines at half-back. Plenty of pressure put on by both sides, but neither side can break clear. Carter again, pretty well straight down the ground. Baines this time, surely. And the Swans starting to look a little bit tired. Carlton peppering the goals. On replay, the value of being... ...to take the ball away into the half or the centre line they come. And the ball up with Pearl and taken by Baines. Now, where's Baines going to go? These kicks are getting shorter too as the day progresses. Kick by Baines. Honey. Stephen Silvani is looking for Baines on centre wing. He charges out after the balls. He moves pretty well for a big bloke, Baines. And back to Silvani. Paul Camillus, a short pass into Baines, is it? Baines takes it about 35 metres out from goal. And he should kick this one for Carlton. Carlton coming back after Fitzroy got away to a four-goal break over Carlton. A goal by Ogier. Now, this one should be a goal by Baines. Very close to goal. He puts it up high. McClure applauds the kick as it goes through for Carlton. Second goal. Silvani. Silvani got a, a push in the back as he kicked. He got the ball along, though, taken by Glasgow, who shot it out quickly to Baines. Baines in trouble, got out of it all right, too. Got a hand pass back out, taken by Glasgow again. He's gone short, found a teammate, too. And There's uh, Billy Loken caught with the ball. Play on, said the umpire. Loken goes in against Rick Baines. Baines, oh, they got out of that well, Carlton. The kick comes right out towards the... Chris Mew, Mew from short of right centre wing. Looks for McCarthy, can't find him, could have almost been a free kick to Carlton there, and it will be. Baines will take the free kick at the left half-back flank. Short pass, Alvin. Yeah, Hawthorne, but it makes you wonder about Carlton, how bad they are. Well, Hawthorne haven't put it together for four quarters so far in the year. Let's see if they can do it today. Baines thumps the ball 25 metres downfield. Murphy is there with Lester Smith. Once again, it's out of bounds, and the throw in this time will be on the centre wing position. Just over the ten and a half minute mark. Byrne and Baines. Knocked down to Tuck. Picked up by Johnston. The ball away as we see uh, McClure take the mark out there at half four. McClure from right half forward flank. He's put the ball high, trying to find Baines. He's just about got him. No mark. Or has he played it? Yes, he has. So Baines directly in front, about 30 metres from goal, has a chance to bring up Carlton's second goal for the term. Oh, hit the ground. I reckon. Hit the ground. That's what I thought. 
Anyway, the umpires played it. Baines's kick is long. And judging by the no flags waving there, it's a goal. So two goals in two minutes and half, but belatedly coming back in the third term. 7-12, 54 to 18-13, 121. He's due to dominate. He goes with the left foot up towards the half forward line. Out comes Baines and takes the mark. Brett Baines. I don't think Robert within scoring distance. What do you think? Far out, Sandy. Let's see what he does. Help him. Corkamilis gives it across to Alvin. Down run the Blues. In towards full forward. Out comes Rhett Baines and takes it. Alvin back in attack. That's Robin White as he drives the ball up there looking for court to the ball. No, oh, there's a good mark taken there by Baines. Well, Baines looks a pretty useful sort of a cult, doesn't he, for Carlton? Be he wasn't too of... keen to come off, I don't think, Lou. Well, Brass is the coach. There's the big fella, Baines. The fella that we said that uh, Carlton say that uh, resembles John Nichols. And when you look at those legs, I can understand why that they say that, Bob. Well, Peter Moore had been doing quite a good job, uh, Lou, and uh, un understandably so. I think uh, Barras would like to get uh, all day into the thick of things as quickly as possible. OK, we're waiting now on uh, Baines from about uh, 35 metres out having a shot at goal. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. Goal. And the result is a goal. So the scoreboard, Carlton three goals, 220. The Melbourne one goal, six points, just on the 17 minute mark of this first quarter. Well, a nice start by Rhett Baines, as we were saying earlier, still only 20 years of age. So uh, he's a, a big lump of, of a lad for 20 years of age. A nice kick, and Stephen Smith just failing to touch that ball. First and second, I think. The umpire paid the latter. McConville goes for a short pass, and that's OK. Picked up by Baines. Doesn't look the fastest player around, but certainly looks a great prospect for the Blues. And what a mammoth kick. Up towards... This kick up towards the Melbourne full forward line. Ball into the open spaces. Once again, Baines doing some pretty useful work. 